it's on my leg. Blech. Who is eating olives? <laughs> what exactly is the meatball made of? I don't like mustard. <laughs> is that supposed to be bacon? Get out of here. I have razor burn on my armpits. Ain't nothing like it. Little paper cuts in your crevices. It's not fun. Uh, well, uh, anyways, welcome back to another episode <laughs> of this series I like to call Never Have I Ever. It's where I go to restaurants, drive throughs fast food chains, places you eat, and I try things on the menu that I would never try. I'm excited about today's episode because I get the same thing from here every single time, and I think that's a lot of people's problems. Today's the day that we venture out and try new stuff. Today for Never Have I Ever, we're doing Subway. Subway. Let's go through the fun facts. This is a two-pager. They've done a lot, apparently. Subway's a fast food chain specializing in sub sandwiches, wraps, and salads. Started in Bridgeport, Connecticut as Pete's Super Submarines in 1965. It was founded by a 17-year-old Fred DeLuca. He was looking to make money to go to college. I'll start a business. What? Some of us just get summer jobs. Some of us just mow the lawn. Some of us ask our rich aunt. Some of us, you know, just work at a sandwich shop. We don't start the sandwich shop. But anyways, uh, his family friend, Dr. Peter Buck, I love their names, Peter Buck, is a nuclear physicist. He invested $1,000. Fred and uh, Mr. Peter were at a barbecue together. You just a nice nonchalant barbecue. And then Fred's like, hey, I need to make some money. Think I'm going to start a business. Peter said, hey, here's a thousand bucks. Have at it. Does anyone else think that Fred could have just taken the $1,000 and went to college? But the moral of the story is, is that if you ever second guess going to a barbecue, you're like, oh, I don't want to go to this barbecue. It's just going to be the same old day. I know there's going to be burgers at the barbecue. No, you go. You go because you could run into someone who wants to start a multi-million, billion dollar company with you. You at least go to the barbecue for five minutes. You show some face, you Irish goodbye. You know what I'm talking about? Go to the barbecue. The first day they opened, they sold 312 sandwiches. They sold out their first day. Uh, the sandwiches cost anywhere from 49 to 69 cents. I wish that's what they cost now. Fred DeLuca's whole family worked there at the place. Uh, his mom worked in the shop. His sister made sandwiches. His wife, Elizabeth, she worked in corporate. Pete's Submarines, as they called it, sounded like Pizza Marines, like on radio ads and stuff. So they changed it to Pete's Subway, and then they changed it to Subway in 1968. That's how the name evolves. Now, I thought Subway stood for Subs Your Way, but it doesn't. They called it Subway because they look like subs under the water, submarines. After less than 20 shops opened, they started franchising. I just don't how, how we get from a backyard barbecue to, oh, I need money for college to, oh, I started a business. Now I'm in the sandwich game to now I'm franchising out companies. What? Locations. There's 20,600 in the U.S. California has the most with 2,000. Chicago is the second top city with 184. I don't know if it's a Midwest thing. I have to look at the breakdown. I see subways everywhere. When you're on the highway, every single exit has a subway. I see them in every single strip mall. Crazy. Between McDonald's and Starbucks, it is the largest fast food chain. I feel like McDonald's, Starbucks, and Subway were kind of like hopping each other in line, but it is one of the largest fast food chains, or at least it was. Like, it's been a contender multiple times. 1983 is when they first introduced fresh baked bread. 2005 is when they started toasting the subs. Took them over 20 years to start toasting the subs. All you had to do is just throw it in the toaster. 2008, $5 footlongs uh, became a thing. The jingle, the campaign. Five, five dollar foot longs. I feel like if you know Subway, then you know the jingle. They just, the commercials were everywhere. I need chapstick. We need to do a chapstick break. Okay, the $5 footlong jingle campaign was started by Stuart Frankel, another great name. He started it in Miami. He would do $5 footlong subs on the weekends. He wasn't telling nobody. He was just doing it. It made a lot of money. So then someone at corporate was like, hey, what is Stuart Frankel doing in Miami? Because we need to start doing that. 2010, they started offering breakfast options. 2017, they got a new look and design. It's called Fresh Forward. It was like what the campaign was called when they kind of flipped everything around. They got a new logo and it's like this arrows thing. This arrows little combination, whatever this is, this is called a choice mark. That's what they call it, a choice mark. I guess because you get to like, Subway's like the arrows, subs your way, you get to choose what to put on the sub might have something to do with in 2016 is when they had a decline in locations and it was the post spokesperson we will not speak of do your own research at the old subway spokesperson this is post all that so once that kind of like faded into the distance they did a huge rebranding their colors are green and yellow and it's supposed to illustrate movement and healthy eating their slogan is eat fresh summer of 2022 they overhauled the menu with the subway series menu it consists of 18 sandwiches and four categories cheese steaks Italianos, chicken, and clubs. The people who make the sandwiches, they're called sandwich artists. Subway trademarked the name in 1992, okay? It's not just some random person making your sandwich. Subway has a smell. If you've ever been in a subway,
subway it has a smell it has a distinct smell not good not bad but it's like that's the subway smell if you've never been to a subway you need to visit one for that alone just walk in <laughs> sniff around leave there's a ridiculously interesting vice article someone did research on like what that smell was they had a scientist come in figure out what was the smell in the air and they like took i don't know enzymes from the air i don't know anything about that instead of like slicing the bread in half they used to cut the bread from the top and they would put the ingredients in it like a trench i can't decide if i would like that or not i think that's like so beyond like why are we digging into the bread? I don't know. Making sandwiches in front of the customers became a thing because a hitchhiker, he once told Fred DeLuca by accident, didn't know he was talking to the big boss man about stealing. So this hitchhiker would go in as a sandwich artist would turn around and make your sandwich. That's when this hitchhiker would like steal chips and steal drinks. So then Fred DeLuca was like, okay, from now on, we don't turn away from the customer. When we make the sandwiches. We're going to make it right in front of them. <laughs> I love that. A hitchhiker. You can always learn something from everybody. The owner and parent company of Subway is called Doctors Associates. Shit, Inc. I kind of like a little bit of play on words because Peter Buck, who gave him a thousand dollars to start the company, he was a doctor, and Fred wanted to go to school to be a doctor. And I don't think he ever did because the whole Subway thing took off. As a joke, they named like the parent company of Subway Doctors Associate Inc. I think it's kind of funny. A very interesting fact is that Subway does so well franchising and advertising and exposure because they had healthier options. It's a sandwich, it's a sub, it's lunch meat, it's fresh, it's cheese. They got veggie. Uh, they got into better markets, so they got to put Subways in hospitals, and they would do double exposure. They would rather have two subways in a strip mall and then one of them closed just so you had double exposure of like, hey, there's definitely a subway right here. They've had product placement in movies, in movies such as Happy Gilmore, Terminator 2, Beverly Hillbillies. There is a fake town in the FBI Training Academy in Quantico, Virginia. They have a subway. It's like the only working business in this fake town is a subway. Can you imagine you're like, yeah, let me get some lettuce and cucumbers on. And they're like, take them down, take them down. And you're like, oh my, wrap it up. Cut it in half, toast it. I wanted to toast it. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> but there's even a location in U Utquagavik, Utquagavik, Alaska, which is the northernmost point in North America. They got subway all the way. I looked up the town. It says they eat whales and walruses and Subway sandwiches. The BMT is a huge sandwich there. At one point it stood for Brooklyn Manhattan Transit System because it looked like the subway. Oh, the subway! Why did I say submarines earlier? No, it looked like a subway in the city, not like a submarine. Why did I say sub? So obviously they named the sandwich after the subway, Brooklyn Manhattan Transit System, but that's not right. They changed it. Now it stands for biggest, meatiest, tastiest. It's salami, it's spicy pepperoni, and it's ham. Subway claimed on Twitter in 2018 that there are 4.9 Billion sandwich combinations. Billion. I'm not even going to try 0.1 of a percentage of the possible combos. We're going to try a couple. Honestly, I think the since they redid the menu with the Subway series, I think the menu is fucking confusing. Like you could point to the board and be like, I want this. But then also you still have to pick all your toppings and stuff. Why are you making sandwich suggestion boards if I'm just going to have to pick what I want in it anyways. If someone caters Subway, I'll eat the lunch meat. If I go to Subway, I get like the chicken options. I always get footlong Italian. I get the rotisserie style chicken with provolone. I get it toasted. Then I do lettuce, cucumbers, and the roasted garlic aioli sauce. We're going to try stuff that's 100% out of my comfort zone. Subway. Subway. Sandwiches acquired. And I'm going to tell you right now, I got a cookie. There's no cookie in the bag. There's no cookie and I already left. I'm already miles away. I, we didn't get the cookie. But the cookies are pretty good at Subway. <laughs> I walked in. I was like, I feel bad. I got a really big order. And he just pulls up a receipt and he goes, that's not a big order. This is a big order. I was like, no, I don't feel so bad. But I was flustered. I get so flustered ordering these big items. That one has peppers. That one has onions. That one has... I had two people working on sandwiches and the lady was ringing me up. And then she forgot my cookie. It was like $31 for six six-inch sandwiches of everything I got. Okay, let's start it off with something I got hot. Like I said, there's so many combinations. I'm gonna put my steering wheel tray in today. There's so many different combinations of sandwiches that you could get that I let you guys decide. These are all pretty much suggestions from you guys. He labeled all of them. This is the steak. It's the monster, which is a steak and bacon with mozzarella and on a flatbread. Never had their flatbreads. Ooh, this one smells kind of good. Is that supposed to be bacon? That looks disgusting. That looks like a raw piece of flesh. Uh, I don't like fast food bacon. I would never get the steak. <laughs> and I never got it on a flatbread. I got peppers and onions on it. I think that's how it comes on the menu is with peppers and onions. And then I got the garlic aioli sauce. I don't know if I like this whole idea of a flatbread, but... Um... What the f... It's actually... What the f... The steak is so good. Like it's just like chopped up little pieces. Of, it's really good, like tender. 
I'm not even sure I'm tasting the bacon. This does not. You can't tell me bacon like that looks good. Like what? Ugh. That garlic aioli sauce will save anything. Put it on anything. Garlic aioli sauce for the win. I think it's newer too. Steak and bacon with mozzarella on this flatbread. I kind of like it on this flatbread. It works as like a pita. This feels like something that they would offer at a food truck outside a baseball game. And they're like, oh, enjoy the nice weather. Like, oh, we got like the flatbread steak and cheese. You guys are going to love it. This makes me feel like I am at, I'm hanging out with my friends. Like someone orders this and they're like, oh my God, it's so good. Everyone tries it. Then they get their own. We all got like nice beers, the sunshine. Oh my, this is fantastic. Okay. I have to move on. This is so good. No wonder it's on the menu. It's called the monster on the menu. Damn. How much was that? I think they charge you based on like what meat you get and then how long the bread is. And then if you get like extra cheese, extra cheese is going to be more. Steak and bacon cheese and flip. It was a seven seventy nine. I don't know if it was more because it was on a flatbread. I have no idea. That was good. I thought that was going to be average. Next one we're going to try is the meatball sub. I love meatball subs. Maybe I've had it from Subway, like when I was a child. But if I'm going to get a meatball sub, I just get the meatballs, the sauce, and the mozzarella cheese and call it a day because I'm here for the meatballs. This I got on white bread. This doesn't look great. Ew. But I didn't just get the meatball sub on white bread because people in the comments were saying meatball sub with jalapenos and onions. Jalapenos was mentioned multiple times. Jalapenos with, with meatballs. I never heard of it. Someone else said, I'll try to find the comment, that their husband gets meatball sub with lettuce, pickles, mustard, and mayo because he was at a subway one time and the guy in front of him got it, so then he ordered it. And when I was getting this made, the guy goes, that actually sounds kind of good with the mayo and the mustard. And I said, what is this? What is this like the most influential sandwich ever? Because that person got it, then the other person got it. And then I read the comment, so I got it. And then the guy making it was like, he makes, nah, he's a sandwich artist. He makes thousands of sandwiches a day. He goes, actually sounds kind of good. This better be a revolutionary type of sandwich because it does, it don't look good. It looks disgusting. The sauce on the meatball was enough for me. Meatball sub on white with jalapenos and onions and mustard and mayo. I don't really like jalapenos. I don't like mustard. This honestly smells like the gym shoes you would find in the lost and found bin in a grade school. And they're like, oh, you forgot your gym shoes? Gonna have to go look in the lost and found bin. We were sharing old gym shoes. People would pee their pants in school in their gym shoes and then leave them in the lost and found bin and you'd have to put it on on a random Tuesday and run the mile. That might just be an experience I had, but we could all experience this sandwich together. I wonder what the meatballs taste like. I hope the meatballs are good. Oh, oh. Ah, jalapenos are <laughs> The jalapenos are hot. Oh my god, what did he stuff like seven in the end right there? I think on the scale of hotness, jalapenos are not hot, but when you eat seven of them, it's burning. Think happy thoughts. Look, I'm just gonna rip off this little chunk right here at the end, because that's 95 jalapenos. The meatballs are pretty good. The meatballs kind of remind me of like a school cafeteria type of meatball, which is not necessarily bad, but it has a little bit of a, mon a mystery meat factor. What exactly is the meatball made of? I'm not sure it's entirely meat. Another, another jalapeno, another one. Let me try it again. But it's so much mustard. I understand why you put mayo on it for the sauce. I really think the mustard is just getting in the way. Like when you're trying to take a picture with your friends on a really windy day, one person's hair just keeps flopping in your face. You're like, it's really just getting in the way. Why don't you tie that shit up? Why don't you pull it back? Ever heard of a barrette, Barbara? A bobby pin will save your life. The mustard's just getting in the way. I'm not even tasting the onions. My mouth is still burning from the jalapenos. I am confused. And this little six inch sub has like four meatballs on it. And I will say like, look, maybe because I kind of messed up. I forgot to get a lot of these toasted unless he prompted and asked me like the steak when I got toasted. Cause I got like confuzzled, confused and fuzzy. Look how the bread turns out if you don't get it toasted. It's immediately mushy upon packaging. This piece of bread looks like it belongs in an old folks home. It has seen its day. It might be fresh bread, but it's been freshly shoved into a bag. This is just a messy sandwich. It doesn't look great. If you love mustard and jalapenos and you feel iffy about a meatball, sure, get this. Just a weird combo. Instead of getting jalapenos and onions or getting lettuce, pickles, mustard, and mayo, I combined it. I got jalapenos, onions, mustard, mayo. I think if you just did lettuce, pickles, mustard, mayo, that'd be a lot better. If you replace the jalapenos with pickles, that'd probably be the move. A little meatball sub lovers get that so messy this is not a first date sandwich this isn't even like a first anniversary sandwich like you've been dating a year this is like you're hungry you got weird cravings it's 3 p.m you forgot to eat today this is the type of slop you eat when you're by yourself when you're having a moment it's a lot it's so hard to package a meatball sub in a delicate way 
If you're shoving meatballs in your mouth, etiquette's out the window. To change the battery out, of course it died on me. Okay, let's try the one I'm dreading the most. The one we love to hate the most, tuna. It's tuna time. This one I just cut, I just left plain Jane. Cause I'm I'm sure I'll be having I'll be going through it. I'll need to call my therapist after this. I just got tuna on wheat with I think American cheese. And then for veggies to try and help me like it, I got lettuce and cucumbers because that's what I like um, on my sandwiches. <laughs> Face your fears. Face your fears. Face your food fears. We should rename the show. Face your food fears. But I'm not gonna sit here and start eating crickets and shit. So never mind. The wheat bread looks great. Oh, the wheat bread is very cute. Holds up a little nicer than the Italian. Also, can I just say, Subway as a brand feels like the kid you always used to see at lunch in school. Comes to school every day, you don't really see him in school, don't have too many classes together. This kid is always at lunch. He always is at lunch, brings his lunch. And he's not popular. He's not Mr. Popular walking around, prom king, you know, getting notes shoved in his locker. No, no, he's popular because he's always around. So many people know of him, but he's not popular because he's cool. That's Subway. There's so many of them around. No one is like ooing and aahing over Subway, but they're always there. They're always at lunch. They always bring their lunch. They always have the sandwiches. Subway's like the well-known but not cool kid at school. I don't want this. I've never had tuna salad before. I've had chicken salad. I love chicken salad. I used to work at a deli. We made chicken salad. My mom makes chicken salad. Me and my mom used to go to Culver's and get their chicken salad sandwich and they discontinued it. I don't, my mouth is watering because I'm nervous. I've never, I don't eat tuna. I don't like tuna. I don't like tuna with mayo, not in a paste, whatever. Okay, I'm doing this one for the, for the sake of the channel and trying new stuff. Okay. Uh, let me get my water open. I'm being over dramatic. This tastes like how dog food and cat food smells. Because I don't. Oh, it's stuck in my gums. It's stuck in my fucking gums. Because I don't eat tuna. I only like smell tuna products, cat food, dog food. When I'm at work, when I had a cat, it's just it's just all tuna. It's all encompassing. I don't even taste the cheese. I felt the wetness of the lettuce wasn't helping it. The aftertaste of this tuna smells like a cat's breath after they've eaten a bunch of treats out of your hand. Oh my fuck, ew! One more bite and we're done, and I'm not doing it again. Isn't tuna good for you? I'm trying to think of the pot. Isn't tuna good for you? I know people eat it. It's a great alternative. You know, it's you gotta change it up. You gotta try something new. Tuna is good. Like, you know, it's a very popular option. This is something I feel like I'm gonna taste in seven hours. I don't like that. I'm focusing on the taste of the cucumber because there's a cucumber. And I'm just really zoning in on the cucumber. I'm just, I'm singling out the cucumber. So over dramatic. So over dramatic. I'm just gonna peel off. Oh my god, a butterfly! Oh! A butterfly! Or a moth! Get out of here! Ugh. Maybe it's something you have to get used to. But I don't want to get used to it. If I'm going to Subway, I want to get something I like. I don't want to get something I'm like, this is my seventh time having the tuna. I'm trying to get used to it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to get used to it. My taste buds do not like tuna. You have to understand. If the taste and smell of something has been so closely tied into something else for years and years and years, I think tuna is cat food. You're, it's hard to reverse that. You're not gonna reverse it on a random day for a YouTube video. I'm so sorry. Let's move on. This is the BMT. Bigger, meatier, tastier. It's been on the menu forever. It's always been a thing. A lot of people said they get it. Provolone cheese, any sauce, banana peppers and black olives. I don't like banana peppers or black olives. The meat on it should be salami, spicy pepperoni and ham. I lo 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 love salami. I only like ham when it's like baked into a dish and I like ham like when you cut ham like you're having a ham for dinner. I don't really like ham lunch meat. Someone said in the comments to get it with the Chipotle Southwest sauce. Now, I like a little Chipotle Southwest sauce. Yeesh. They all look rough when you pull them open. You know what Subway is? It looks, it, it going on the sandwich looks fresh. Looks fresh. By the time that you take it back out of the package and open it up, my goodness, that looks like it crawled out of a dumpster. What? Let's just see what happens. Let's try it. I don't think I'm going to like the veggies on this, but I should be cool with the meat. <laughs> There's a crap ton of sauce on this. Do you guys like the Chipotle Southwest sauce? Because it kind of tastes like some some dressing you have at your friend's house. They're like, can they stay over and eat? And you're like, yeah, you go down to sit dinner. They're like, we're going to have a salad and some chicken. They have tossed the salad in this sauce that you've never seen before. They're calling it dressing. And you're like, I'm going to need a couple glasses of water. I'm really, I'm really up on my water intake these days. 
I just feel like we could have done a better sauce. The garlic aioli sauce on this probably would have slapped. I think if you want to try new stuff at Subway, honestly, get what you normally get. If you want to try something new, try a different sauce. They have all like nine different sauces that you never get to try. I think that is the key. The lunch meat itself is like decent. Subway's meats that aren't lunch meat, the steak, the rotisserie style chicken, they seem a little sketchy to me, but they taste the best. The lunch meats at Subway seem like so subpar to me. Like I've had better lunch meat. Okay, I'm picking off the banana peppers and the olives on this because I don't think I like olives. What the f- who is eating olives? The aftertaste smells like an old jar. Ew! Is mushrooms an option at Subway? Mushrooms on a sandwich? I didn't see any mushroom options. This BMT that's been on the menu forever is like so bleh, 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 plain. Not wowing me. I mean, maybe this was good back in 1965 when they opened up the place or whatever it was. So, like, I'm not excited to tell someone about that. I'd be like, you know what? The steak and cheese, the bacon, whatever thing might surprise you. Might be might be your new favorite thing. Italian BMT. I'm like, I'm sure you've had it before. I'm sure one time by accident, salami, ham, and pepperoni all fell into your mouth one time. I'm sure you've had it. It's like the White Castle effect. Whatever's been on the menu the longest is usually, like, the most mediocre item. No offense. Okay, we're gonna end with the veggie. And I will say the veggie is the heaviest of all. He said, what do you want on here? I said, just throw everything on there because I don't, without the meat, what's there to put on there? Everything, the works. And then I think I got, people said to get the veggie and I got it on Italian herb to give it some cheese. I got cheese on it. I think I got cheese on it. Butterfly's back. Get out of here, butterfly. And then I got it with mayo and I think the shakers and vin the vinegar. He said there's this red wine vinegar or this like vinaigrette. Which one do people get? And he's like, I think people get the red wine. It smells like the earth. It's just drenched. Ooh, little cheddar herb. This is a cute looking sandwich. This one looks the best. Look, look at the little cheese herb. Oh, that's kind of fun. Look at this one. It stacks the nicest. Look at the layers, the cucumbers. This is the closest one they would use in a in a commercial. If you saw that meatball sub coming at you in a commercial, I'd be like, this Subway must be next to a dry cleaners because that looks like the messiest damn sandwich I've ever seen. There's lettuce, cucumbers, spinach, tomatoes, onions, uh, pickles. I think banana peppers because I wrote down banana peppers. Let's try it. Just got a lot of pickles. If you were eating something and one hand is for getting it to your mouth and the other hand is for catching and throwing it on the plate, that, eat at your own risk. This smells kind of good too. You know what? That subway did not have the smell. I didn't have the smell. Maybe I was so flustered I wasn't breathing in there because I was like, <gasps> I didn't smell nothing. This one you just really got to crunch. The mayo's back here. Oh, the banana peppers all sank into the center of the sandwich. That's okay. We already tried the banana peppers. Where's this oil he put on it? Oh, I think he put it on the bottom layer of the bread. Can you? Oh, it's on my leg. Can you see that? I think it's not focusing. Focus on the nice, nice and colorful. The vinaigrette he put in here just like soaked right into the bottom bun. I can taste the vinegar like within all the other vegetables, but it's soaked into the bottom. Could you get vinegar on the side and like dip it? Or is that going to be too concentrated? Y'all tell me my little veggie eaters. I mean, this all looks very fresh. I won't knock them for not having fresh ingredients. It all looks good. Also, you could just take this, unwrap it, and then eat it like a salad. The veggie's okay for someone who doesn't eat veggie sandwiches. Yeah, it's decent. I don't know if everyone who gets the veggie sandwiches gets the works on it, um, but I did. <laughs> I said, don't spare me a vegetable. Except it's really not surviving as a sandwich. Kind of looks like a bag of doo-doo. Okay, we did it. I feel like that one needed to be checked off the list. People have been wanting me to do Subway for a while. I feel like I conquered some fears. Tuna. I'm still, I'm not fearful of it. I know I hate it. <laughs> Found something new. The steak and bacon with the cheese. Great. Love that. It's called the monster. The BMT. Always wondered what it tasted like. Don't give a shit. The veggies, great. They're fresh. Confirmed fresh veggies. The meatball sub is a, is a mystery. The mystery meatball sub. Comment down below if you go to Subway, what you get. Maybe your exact order so I can see where I went wrong and whatnot. Um, it's very stressful ordering. <laughs> I could see why even if you wanted to try something new, it'd be kind of stressful because you got to go down the line and make a bunch of choices. Boom, boom, boom. And you're like, I haven't made this many choices in the past week. Now you want me to make 75 decisions right here? It's a little daunting. But yeah, comment down below if you get Subway. If you never had Subway, would you try it? What would you try? And then also, where should I go next? Next, never have I ever. Where should I go? Please like and subscribe to the video. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we could do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. There are so many rappers and smells in this car and I could see a piece of lettuce smothered in mayo like sliding down the side of this middle console thing. How did that get away from me? How did you get out of this sandwich? Poo, poo, poo. That butterfly tries to get in here. I'm like, poo. 
Gotcha. And Subway is interesting because they make it in front of you, for one, and then two, you decide what goes on it. So if you don't like it, besides like the bread being bad, the meat being rotten or whatever the thing, if you just don't like what you got from Subway, that's like entirely your fault. That's kind of crazy to be like, the taste is in your hands. That's what the damn slogan should be. Not fresh. The taste is in your hands. You slop it on as much as you want. You want mayo and lettuce and vinaigrette and a bunch of stuff on your meatball. Su- then you have, you, that, those are the consequences of your own actions. That should be, I think we should change the slow. Who do I got to talk to? Someone who knows someone who works at Subway Corporate. Tell them my YouTube channel. And then show them the last, this last 10 seconds and be like, what did I say? I already forgot it. Sandwiches? Taste? You? Taste? You? What did I say? Taste? Taste is in your court. You decide. Taste? Taste your way? No. What did I say? I already forgot. God, I already forgot. This is why I'm always writing shit down. I already forgot what I said. It was a genius. I mean, I could just go back and watch the footage. The taste is in your hands. Taste your way. It's up to you. It's up to taste. Taste is up to you. That's a little chunky clunky. That's how bad my memory is. I'm surprised we even got this video done. I just came up with a fantastic slogan. I could change the marketing game of Subway forever. Instantly forgot it. They're like, oh, the, the sandwiches give you amnesia. Look at this girl. She just had six of them. She can't remember a damn thing. Where am I? Where am I? Butterfly. <sighs> oh, and I wore green and yellow for Subway. Green and yellow for the Subway. 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 Subway.